how do you make a ballet? And collaborate with artists outside the ballet world. And share the creative process online. That's the creative challenge. There are students all over the world participating in this project, including the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. And the Juilliard School. The Hamburg Ballet. And the Dutch National Ballet Academy. I'm from Canada's National Ballet School. We've taken up the challenge to create a ballet by collaborating with artists from other mediums. I'm collaborating with a percussionist who I found through one of the percussionists who work at the school. I will be collaborating with a painter from OCAD and a composer from U of T. I am collaborating with a costume designer from York University. For my improv piece, I'm collaborating with a musician who also does improvisation. I actually found him at the Kensington Market when I was walking by with a friend and he was, he was actually busking. My piece is based around the idea of memories and that we are the product of the accumulation of experiences we've had over a lifetime. And it's a triple live performance um, featuring dance, music and painting. Are trying to create a unison between choreography and motion graphics using the technology of projection mapping. We have also committed to presenting the dances in new places. Dance is usually presented formally in a proscenium theater. But it didn't start out that way. Ballet started in a social setting and the audience participated as well. Our challenge is to present dance in social settings, anywhere that people are. I'm presenting my piece at the Gardner Museum of Ceramic Art. My dance is taking place at the Distillery District. I am presenting my work at Ripley's Aquarium, Canada. What is really new about the Creative Challenge is that we are using the internet to share the creative process. We are the next generation of dance artists and we want to challenge tradition. We need your financial support for production costs. Every little bit makes a difference.